Without the brush of a Picasso, it's hard to paint L'Amphi Parnasso, though as its title clearly speaks, the piece intends to scale twin peaks of music, yes, and comic verse, and through them, at their best, rehearse the themes of love in timeless song, though we won't go on too long. Composer Vecchi, in his age, said, you can't do that on stage. But nowadays, we like to think this sort of thing won't cause a stink. So we'll be staging every scene and in advance say what they mean, otherwise the whole effect's a stream of ancient dialects. We tried to get the look just right. That's why they're wearing masks tonight. But if, with Vecchi, you've concurred that this should not be seen but heard, then don't despair. They do sing prettily. To shut your eyes and think of Italy. Pantalone, alas, has more money than sense. So, of course, he's in love with the trollop, Hortense. But Hortense made her name trading kisses for pence. You can see why I love you would cause her offence. Sex without paying, cheapskate, get thee hence. Now there's an idea to make any whore tense. <laughs> Servitore, servitore, 
bandito, vedi che un schiaffo in fondo non ha partito. Pian pian, cara Madonna, con lei io che bendiga una parola sola, due mi. No, io non voglio, no, so, si è so, si è so, no, 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 no. Mira che gatto, mira che fusto, avrei del gusto. This next bit, in sort of parenthesis, is the girl Lelio'd like for his missus is the delicious young miss known as Nissa. Is Nissa dismissing his wishes? Is she saying in the sea lots more fishes is? Or instead that her heart and true bliss is his by her gift to him of some narcissuses? <laughs> is her meaning he's vain or a bit of a pain? Or she yearns for the burn of his kisses? Is?
though his money could have bought a charming husband for his daughter, Pantaloni has decided she shall wed the much derided academic Graziano, who transforms language into guano. To illustrate just what I mean, he'll often toast the queer old dean. He'll drive the poor girl to distraction. She won't get no satisfaction. Rot's wong, he'll cry. She'll say, confound it. You cannot get your tongue around it. Or pervenni alla confusion, a dit messia per non, ca voi la putta, m'intenziu, me peccao e fiaponnao. Intendo, 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 caro rondelli, me morti, teme la man, la putta se la vostra, resiste lo ver, a se no, a me burla, a fe la senti l'omo. Fiora cauda cauda, o fiora frane fiora, la prima fiora, che ci fai tu. Come gather round people and nobody scoff. Lucio's romance has entered a trough. Isabella has left him, so please all your hats doff. I must end it all, he says with a cough, and looks for a cliff top to toss himself off.
Señores, señoras, and señoritas, put down your tapas and your fajitas, and welcome the Capitan all Spaniards greet as one of our greatest romantic world beaters. <laughs> the dashing, the handsome, I do beg his pardon, the one and the only himself, Captain Cardon. <laughs> Cross him in love and he'll send his armada and his abrada and his afarda. <laughs> He's like Don Quixote, gallant but wonky, <laughs> with less of the hoti and more of the donkey. <laughs> Cardon is in love with the fair Isabella and outside her house here is waiting to tell her. His servant, Adzani, though, gets in the way and misunderstands what he's striving to say. The servant is trying to give of his best, but poor Cardon's patience is put to the test. Happiness now would fill Cardon's cup if that wretched servant would just knock her up. <laughs> Isabella, on love's skewer, now adopts the role of wooer. Thinking that her true love's dead, she says she'll have Cardon instead. And cutting short a longer story, he makes of her an inventory. As two lips in different red, as someone somewhere else once said, a smile like sunlit water ripples, not to mention gorgeous nipples. <laughs> A carriage pert, a figure slim that from this day belonged to him. But Cardon shouldn't count his chickens, for this is where her plot she thickens. All is not lovely in this garden. The pretty girl has a facade on. She means to cheat both life and Cardon. She'll kill herself and without pardon, leave him alone with just his hard on. That note, perhaps we'd better have some music. <laughs> Ecco il mio bene e la mia spera. 
bacio mi la mano, bacio mi la mano. Buenos días, mi señora. Quiero hablar con Santo la Gora y saber muy galana y gentil también hermosa y gentil también hermosa. Thinking suicide's taken her lover, though it hasn't, so she will discover. Isabella at sixes and sevens cries out to the pitiless heavens, no longer will fate my heart step on, and thereupon seizes a weapon. Though she wouldn't have made all these moans if back then they'd had mobile phones. <laughs>
So it is that mixed up Isabella, who is now, yes, portrayed by a fella, has decided that this is the time to cut herself off in her prime. Then a servant bursts in at a dash, cries, Lady, please don't have a slash. The lover whom you had thought dead is healthy and hearty instead. Her gratitude's fulsome and fervent for this very observant young servant. Pantalone, having banked the dowry, says in language less than flowery, Now my palms are nicely greased. I mean to have a slap-up feast. But his servant, Frank a Tripper, who doesn't quite invite a stripper, wants to ask along his folks a crowd of rowdy, boorish soaks. So Pantalone can't impair the list of guests that he'd like there. Franca won't come up for air, and soon his boss is in despair. The plan is going well when, cripes, old Graziano plays the pipes. Though you won't hear their dreadful drone, he thinks they should be plucked, not blown. <laughs> Nor's that the worst this night will bring. Just wait until he starts to sing. <laughs> Casta, 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 Sono 
Purists who respect the text should shut their ears to what comes next. In rendering a famous song, Graziano gets it wrong. The music says it should be sung, the words are twisted on his tongue. To get the joke, pretend you'd cupped your ear to hear of careless rupture, or someone struck by Cupid's dart complaining of a broken fart. The whole effect is rather droll, and all of them will play the role. Despite the training they have had, you need some help to be this bad. <laughs> Pataloni then replying, though with laughter he is crying, leads the chorus of applause with, I'm not fit to wash your drawers. I'd hail a singing superstar, but words can't say how great you are. You're so good it isn't lawful. You're so like Orpheus. You're Awful.
Frank Tripper wants to pawn a porter's strap, so turns a corner, enters the Venetian ghetto, a world away from Canaletto. But alas, the silly dingo cannot speak their Jewish lingo. He doesn't know what they are saying. In point of fact, they're mostly praying. In English, they would tell the nut, it's our Sabbath, and we're shut. Tick, 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 Lucio and Isabella, lovers whom cruel fate would sever, meet, so says the storyteller, just by chance, how very clever. And Isabella and her fella swear that they will love forever. Thank you. 
Lovers now are reunited. Nobody is unrequited. All of fortune's wrongs are righted, and everybody who's been knighted life by cruel fate was blighted are to a wedding day invited. To make proceedings extra pleasant, every guest has brought a wedding present. Lily's the first of those and gives the bride a single rose. Pantalone, though indicted for ill will, donates excited, gloves that someone erudited said bring luck when troths are plighted. Nissa's gifts, a little dog. Married life can be a slog, she says, so Fido's here for you, he'll remind you to be true. The captain shows there's no hard feeling and the wounds are quickly healing that she made with Cupid's lash by giving her a wad of cash. Pedrolino, poor but laddish, hands the bride a firm young radish. <laughs> Chief of all the silly asses, Graziano gives her glasses. Useful, you might think, in passing, except these glasses have no glass in. A spectacle, though, will be sighted. Once the nuptial flames ignited, when sadness thus is dynamited, we hope to leave you all. Delighted. <laughs> Oh, 